Well, hi church, it's time for our worship celebration and I trust you've had a fantastic day across church. If you've joined our different campuses, you would have seen brilliant messages and ministry from our lead pastors today. Make sure you don't miss out and that you don't just enjoy the worship celebration, but you get the teaching because the teaching grows us week upon week. And so you can go to YouTube and you can get that. And uh, tonight as we enter in, people have been asking us, can't we have more worship? You know, in church they ask and online they've been asking. And tonight our team is going to lead us. We're just going to worship God, lift up the name of Jesus. And as we do, the Bible says, if you draw near to God, He'll draw near to you. Expect God to touch your life tonight. Expect to be refreshed. If you need physical healing, trust God for that. And let's just lift up the name of the Father and of the Son, and let's lean in together. Amen. We're going to celebrate Jesus wherever you're streaming from. Would you participate? Would you lift your voice? Would you praise Him with all that you got?
It's a anthem in the making Can you feel it start to rise? Can you hear the generations Getting louder over time? Every son and every daughter Singing out into the night It's not time to be silent Don't you dare
is good. Our God is good. Amen. And wherever you are right now in this moment, will you trust Him for His blessing upon your family, upon your life, upon your need? He's with us and He's faithful. And He's a God that keeps every promise that He's ever made over our lives. And as we declare this next song, it's a promise that He's made over your life, over my life, over our nation. So let's trust Him together as we worship. Thank you, God. The Lord bless you and keep you, make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face to all.
Let's bring our needs before God. You lift your hands as we pray. Father, we thank you that you are for us, not against us, Lord. We pray, Father, for every need that is represented in this moment, God. For those, God, that are at home that are sick, oh God. For those, God, that have lost employment, God, that have lost income, Lord. For those families that are struggling in this season, God. We ask you, God, that you will bring provision, Lord. We ask you, God, that you will give us breakthroughs, Lord. We ask that you will give us healing. We trust you for every single need, physical, spiritual, mental. Thank you that you are God and that you are a provider. In the precious name of Jesus, we ask. Amen.
the word at the beginning One with God, the Lord most high Your hidden glory in creation And now reveal that you are Christ What a beautiful name it is What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Christ my what a beautiful name it is And nothing compares to this What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus He didn't want heaven without us So Jesus
church, God is so worthy. Worthy of our praise, of our worship, of our absolute adoration. You know, today we've gathered in His Name to lift our voices and lift our hearts, to sing to Him and to bring Him our worship. But part of doing that includes bringing our substance, amen? Bringing our tithes, bringing our offerings and laying them at His feet. Sowing seeds in faith, trusting Him and knowing that as the Scriptures tell us, as we do that, our barns will be filled to overflowing, amen? And He can and will provide for our every need. So while we worship with our voices, Let's take this moment to sow into His kingdom, into His church, and to bless Him with the fruit of our hand, our first and our best. On the screen, some instructions are gonna come up on the various ways that we can sow, that we can give, that we can worship Him in this way together tonight. And as that happens, and as we sow together, we're gonna continue to worship Him who is worthy, Him who alone is worthy of our praise. In Jesus' name, Amen. What gift of love could I offer to a King? What weight or what could be held within my offering? Song is swept upon my heart. 
home, will you begin to lift your voice in your home, wherever you are? Will you begin to praise God for what He's done, for what He's doing, and what He will do in the future in your life? Will you lift Him up? Will you glorify Him in spite of your circumstances? We praise you, God. You are the Jesus. Oh, we exalt your name.
you are here God your presence is here God and we draw near to you Lord we take a step towards you Jesus will you take a step towards us God thank you Lord thank you for who you are God Yeah. 
more time and say. And he shall reign forever and ever. In your homes, wherever you are, will you lift your hands and we're singing and he shall reign. And he shall reign forever and ever. God, Lord, you truly reign. We exalt you, Lord. We glorify you, God, in this moment, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives, God. Thank you that you're here, Lord. Bring heaven to us, Jesus. Bring heaven to every home, God, as we sing holy. You are holy, God. You are holy, God. You are holy, Lord. We cry out holy to you, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. We lift our voice, God. Come on, in your home, can you lift your voice? Can you press in? Thank you, God. response, our life's response to the sacrifice that He made for you and I, to His body that was broken and His blood that was shed. Tonight as we've been worshiping, maybe you found yourself on the stream and it's the first time you've seen people lifting their hands and singing out to God, closing their eyes and worshiping Him. Or maybe you hear and you used to walk with God, you used to know Him and serve Him, but you've grown cold and you've wandered away. And right here, right now in this moment, we wanna remind you of the hope that we have in Jesus Christ, the salvation, the eternal life 
the beautiful relationship and the promise that we have and the eternity in heaven as we surrender our hearts and our lives to Him. So if that's you, you wanna know Him for the first time or you wanna come back to Him, won't you pop over to our website? Our team would love to get in touch with you. We'd love to help you walk a journey in relationship with Jesus, help you to submit your life to Him, knowing that you will never be the same as you do. In Jesus' name, amen. And church, we hope you've been blessed and enjoyed this time in God's presence. Hope that it has stirred your heart and filled your soul. And until we see you again next week, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make His face to shine upon you. We love you and we'll see you online next week. Well, there we go. What a wonderful time. We always enjoy in God's presence as we worship Him. And I'm sure you've been touched by God tonight. Maybe you can let us know, send us a message, uh, go onto the Rivers app and tell us what God has done for you. But I trust that you've really enjoyed your time in His presence. Remember, you've been encouraged to give and it's month end. If you haven't given yet, trust you'll be faithful in your giving. Go to the Rivers app, go on our website and you can avail yourselves of the giving so that we can take the kingdom forward and we can advance the church even though we're still online. Until next time, look forward to seeing you next week. Make sure you tune in for another exciting time in God's presence and for more teaching from the Word. God bless you.